Greetings, everybody. I hope all you wonderful people are doing all right in this uh, interesting, brave new world we are finding ourselves in. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the Art Apocalypse Art Podcast. I guess that'll be a good temporary name for the time being. Yep, this one's a short one. It'll go on back to 2016 Digital Sketchbook, the OG. This is number seven. This one's coming off of, you know, that alien fish. And we turned it into a planet. Now, I got a picture donated to me by a buddy on Facebook. I needed clouds, and but he dropped picture of some clouds and I incorporated it into this and my perception was, was a little awkward you know I didn't think it through um like I didn't have any complaints or anything like that but I kind of felt I didn't feel right using somebody else's uh photograph incorporating it into my art even though it was just you know a cloud texture photo things like that it just you know I wanted to have some audience participation which was the goal you know but then when it was said and done it's just like hey I'm just kind of kind of leeching off of uh, leeching off of somebody else's picture um, and from then it was like you know for the most part with some very few exceptions it was all about getting my own damn photos <laughs> you know it's a priority I try to be a 100% original content like I said for the most part here on out I want to do my own music but you know that is a big learning curve every couple of months I kind of dabble with midis things like that but eventually one day 100% pure grade A original content has uh, always been the goal that I have strived for on uh, on my art and creativity and and the videos at least the art side of it I do do some uh, guerrilla content and you know some of my commentary videos obviously you know under fair use gotta gotta grab some assets that are relevant to the topic of discussion now it's been a while since I've done a voiceover but yesterday's video was was uh, from a couple of weeks ago was the voiceover we've all been coping in different ways I've been adapting I have a day job that is uh, really demanding right now and you know um, yeah we'll just we'll leave it at that it's been occupying a lot of a lot of my time and then my free time, it's not like I haven't been doing anything. I've just been painting. Been painting. I haven't focused on the website or the social media. Only so much you can do at a time. And, you know, I'm adapting and trying to navigate this uh, brave new world. And, you know, strategizing, game plans, moving into the future. It's definitely good to have a diverse skill set right now. I mean, we don't know what the future holds, so definitely working on my day job technical skills and working on the computer skills too, and also, you know, looking at the options. If you're looking to career change and you're stuck, you're not watching kids, if you're doing nothing right now, if you're single, or if you've got some free time, Look into look into your options and look into your interests, but uh, very importantly, you know, if you're going to pursue something, make sure it's it's something practical to do, something you know marketable. Unless you're just doing it for fun, at least at least that's 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 my takeaway. I mean, I'm not one to tell anybody what to do. I just I just hope the best for everybody. And I see us coming into a world where, you know, the the productive and innovative people are gonna gonna rise to the top right now. And unfortunately, you, you know, being inactive and procrastinating, 
might might get us in trouble in, in this day and age but anyway i appreciate you stopping by definitely click the like hit the subscribe follow the socials but most importantly go over to bamvfx.com there you can see all the stuff that we're currently doing outside of that you be the best you that you can be take it easy have a good one and later oh leave a comment below too if you feel so inclined